Hey, I couldn't find anything to eat. The kitchen's pretty cleaned out. Oh shoot, I left my bag. I, I brought you this. That was... Fuck, I don't even know what happened. It was all just a blur. How are you feeling? How are you holding up? I'm... Uh, well, I, I, I'm just happy. You're okay. Are you okay? I'm sorry, I, I, I just asked you that. I... It's okay. All right, they're off to find a radio or something. What's with the, um, the... Oh, uh, we found another in Mr. H's office, so just in case. And what happened to the lights? Not sure. Any better? I'm doing okay. Kinda. Wait, are they going to the radio hut? <sighs> Phone's dead. They're gonna try to send out an SOS or something. We're holding down the fort. I thought you said Dylan and Ryan already left. Wait, stay here. I'll check it out. We'll be fine. Just be careful. Stay alert. No sign of them. When you find them, blood them. And keep me posted, Bobby.
okay, so this may not be like the best time per se, but like... What? Yeah, so like I was just, you know, thinking about like the start of summer and when we first met and started camp and well, like now that summer's over and, you know, is that like the last time we're going to see each other, you know? Sorry, Nick, what, what are you saying? Hey, I'm kind of pouring my heart out here. Oh, Nick, I'm, I'm sorry. Can we talk about this later? I'm, I'm really freaked out. It's just not a good time. You're hard to read. Wait, what? You're not even listening, are you? No, no, I'm... I'm wow. Well, yeah. didn't think I was that boring. Gosh, you're hurt. I just want to make sure we're safe, okay? What is going on out there, Caitlin? We have died. We have died. It's okay, I got this. Oh my god. What happened? Jesus, where's the gun? We gotta get out. No, we have to hide. like an actual radio i thought it was just like for your morning announcements oh yeah yeah it used to be more of a actual radio station actually um uh, you know i mean it is still technically but nobody brings their radio to camp anymore yeah it's weird actually that there used to be kids with their radio and their portable cd player and everything and you know nowadays Everything we need is on the phone, but Mr. Hackett takes it on the first day at camp so that we're not distracted by technology. Um, technology, it giveth and it taketh. So is, is that something like that you want to go into? Uh, camp radio? No, like uh, DJing or music or something. Oh, um, yeah, I mean, I like music, but... I think I want to major in um, quantum physics. Wait, what? <sighs> yeah. Uh, you don't really seem like a science guy. <laughs> oh yeah, I mean, you know, not not here. Um... I'm, I'm sorry. I'm so completely fascinated by this. What do you mean by not here? Not here at camp. I do that at home, and then here, I, um... You're a wise, wise, cracking smartass? <laughs> uh, that's a little harsh, but... Uh... No? Okay, so maybe I was a little nervous when I arrived in an uncomfortable social situation, and I overcompensated a little bit, by making a bunch of jokes. You played into it. Yeah, I mean, people kind of enjoyed the blasé Dylan. Uh, 
And do do you enjoy the blase, Dylan? <laughs> Not yet. Like you know, whatever, man. It's pretty cool. It's fine. <laughs> Um, I like Dylan Dylan. Well, it's nice to meet you, Dylan Dylan. I'm Ryan Ryan. Well, actually, I'm let's get the fuck out of here, Ryan. Yeah, I like him. He's that makes a lot of sense. Dude, 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 it's this. All good? Uh, give me a minute. All right. Huh. All good? Oh, this place is kind of a dump, huh? Okay, when I was a camper here, it was barely working. It hadn't been used for years, and it took me a really long time, actually, to get this place cleaned up and looking the way it is. So, I'm sorry if it's not up to your standards, but I've been putting in a lot of TLC. Okay. 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 Let me get this set up. All right. Anything over here we can use? The power tools? No. Um, that's... Mr. H wanted more storage, so it's kind of how he lets me keep the station going. <laughs> gotcha. So, uh, how far does it go? Oh, um, well, it was designed just to broadcast to the PAs around camp for announcements and to, you know, portable radios and whatever, so I think the range is about a mile. That doesn't seem like it's gonna help us much. <laughs> Don't underestimate the power of technology. Uh, is technology the right word? No, yeah, you're right. This is more like magic, man. Oh, so you would be the magician? In a manner of speaking, sure. Anyways, this thing's gonna need a bit of a power up, um, but that's where this comes in. Dust magnet. It's supposed to be a signal booster. It's kind of janky looking, but it's worth giving a shot. So, we can actually talk to people with this thing? Yeah, well, it's not a two-way radio, so, um, you know, we can talk, uh, but then the best we can do is switch it over to the receiver and see if anyone broadcasts anything back, which is unlikely, but... Well, it, I mean, it is what it is, I guess. Yeah. So, what should I say? Uh, just like, 
make it sound urgent. Okay. Hello, how's it going out there? This is, uh, uh, we need help. This is, uh, we are counselors at Hackett's Quarry Summer Camp, and there's been a horrible accident attack, some stuff bad here. We need your help. Uh, there is a swarm of bears, and they are everywhere and there's these hunters too and they seem to be shooting at the bears but also at us um which is not good and a few of our friends are hurt and um we are in desperate need of help so please I mean, there's vicious bears and uh we don't know what to do so please uh come help us sos uh this is uh, an emergency s save our ship come on down please help us yeah i do good was that swarm of bears yeah. Heard of bears. Yeah, I've heard of bears. What? Oh, my God. All right, I, I guess I should just, like, switch this over to the receiver and see if we get anything yeah, back. Okay, yeah, I'm going to keep an eye out while you do all this techie stuff. Okay, yeah, sure. Did he say lodge? I don't know. Hold on. Two males in the radio shack near the cabins. Another couple unaccounted for. Copy that. Out. Now. Holy shit, they're talking about us. Cause we just told them on the fucking radio. Fuck. They know where we are, man. We can't stay here. Shit. Shit. Fuck. Hey, hey. Shit. Let's let, let's stay calm, okay? Um, let's let's go find Caitlin and everybody, okay? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Ah! Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. You, I, I, I didn't know what I saw. You saw something, and you didn't think that you should fucking tell me. I forgot. I mean, the, I, the guys came on the radio. <sighs> uh, Ryan. Is it a bear? I don't think bears can jump like that. Caitlin, Abby, and Nick, they're coming up the path. Oh, shit. They're coming toward us. We, we, we gotta warn them. Um, what about the PA? Up top? Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, we can um, tell them to hide or something. Yeah. Uh. Oh, fuck! No! Oh, shit. Uh, the... uh, hold the button. Uh, Caitlin, get into a building now. Do not come up here. There's an animal outside the radio hut. Get in, uh, get into a cabin now. Go! Go! Oh, fuck, dude. They're gone.
What now? Is there anything we can do? I don't know. I, I don't know. It's just an animal, right? I mean, maybe we can scare it off? Uh... Well, it, yeah, I mean, if it, if it has hearing like a dog, maybe, it, we, we can play like a, like a really high-pitched feedback loop and just blast it. And, and, I mean, it would hurt like hell, but, you know. Do it. Hey, Dylan, just take a breath. I'm sure you can figure it out. Okay, yeah, right. So, there's something missing. I, what's missing? Oh, crap. It pulled the wire. Fix it. I'll cover you. Do it now. Go, quickly. Get the wire, get the wire. What? Get the wire. The thing, get it. On it. Plug it, plug it into the thingy. Uh, keep pressure on it. Uh. What do I do, what do I do? The button, the button. Oh, he blew the speaker. Uh, it did the trick. Uh, nice work, Dylan. <laughs> oh, right. oh, fuck, my hand. Right, right. Oh, God. Oh. Just hold on. Why did you do that? You told me to. Oh, that was a bad idea. Is it safe? I think we're okay for now. We ran into one of those hunter guys. Ah, oh, crap. He chased us out of the lodge. I think we lost him on the way up here. You get a message out? I think so. Great. What the hell was going on at... Oh my god! Dylan, what happened? Oh, um, I'm okay. I, I, I mean, I'm not. Um, but it's it doesn't doesn't hurt. Okay, you're in shock. Holy fucking shit! Uh, did that thing do this? No. Well, sort of. It, it... Caitlin, where's your gun? 
I lost it. One of the friendly locals wanted to say hi. What the fuck? Did she shoot at us? Who's there? Who was she? Should we follow her? Dylan, what is that? <gasps> oh my god! You're back. Looks like that's one less vermin in the world. Let's take a look once more. The devil. Without restrictions, like a shadow torn from one's corporeal form. Pay close attention and act before the demons unleashed. Each of us have one. Even those who are pure of heart and say their prayers by night. I want to show you more. Would that be all right? No? Okay. We spend so much time looking toward the future. It's easy to forget that the past holds secrets too. Worth remembering that. So it's goodbye again. I'll be here. I'll wait for you. Emma! Jesus Christ. She's... Sucks ass. Jacob. Emma, is that you? That bodes ill. Fucking hell. There's something on here.
Jesus Christ! Oh. Oh. oh, fuck my life. Okay, you scared me. Jacob. You okay? I guess you could call it that. Oh, God. What the fuck is going on? Look, I don't know, okay? Some, like, bear attacked Nick and Abby back there. Yeah, me too, but it definitely was not a bear. What? Who? When? Why? Sorry, I'm just... I'm glad you're okay. Yeah, barely. I mean, the thing that attacked me at the treehouse was like... What? It was like what, Emma? Like, out of a horror movie. Okay, um... Well, it, it was probably just like a, a bear trying to defend itself, you oh, know? don't be a dick. You, you know it wasn't a fucking bear. No, you're right. You're right. And now we have these fucking the, the hunters running all over the place. So that's a fun new wrinkle. What? Look, don't ask. That fucking thing bit me, dude. Really need Caitlyn to look in it. I... Wait, it bit you? That little scratch? Oh, I, uh, could have sworn it was much bigger before. Okay, we've got to get out of these woods. Yeah, no shit, Sherlock. <laughs> you know, Jacob, you don't have to be a dick about literally everything. Oh, shit, okay, you know what? You're right, okay? You're right. I'm sorry. Ugh, you're so annoying. Oh my god, can we please not do this right now? Okay, seriously? I literally came looking for you as soon as I heard there was something out here. Or things? Like plural? Wait, really? <sighs> Run! Look, you could- oh! <laughs> Is she like one of those hunter dudes? I don't think so.
You okay? I don't know who that other girl was. I've never seen her before. Me neither. But her? Yeah. That's Kaylee Hackett. Mr. H's daughter? I thought she went home with her brother. Kaylee. Yeah. I thought so too. Oh man. Poor Kaylee. Nick. You smell so good. You all right there, bud? Maybe dial it back a bit, huh? Fuck off, Caitlin. Whoa. Nick, what do you... I want to taste you. Hey. Come here, huh? Ugh, Nick, what the hell? Ugh, get off. Ugh, watch out. I said get off. Let's get him in the pool house. Dry him off. <laughs> Just try to rest. I'm sorry. Ah! Quit moving so much. It's pretty clean from what I could tell. I mean, it's not bleeding. But you need to see a doctor. <sighs> Look, this is all I've got left from the nurse's station. Ooh, fun. You better hope uh, we find you some real help before they wear off. We need to be keeping a record of everything that happens. For the police. Yeah. Dead girl in the pool needs some explaining, huh? <sighs> Easy, man. I mean, like, photos, whatever we can. I've got a funny feeling that the cops are not going to want to believe any of this crazy shit unless we've got some hard proof. From now on, if you got your phone and you see something, take a photo or a video or whatever. Yeah. You okay over there, Abby? Look, why don't you look around and see if you can find anything to help make Nick more comfortable? The place was so different like 12 hours ago. Here, 
better? Thanks. Hey. I wonder where Caleb is. Yo, something is not right with that boy. Dude is real sick. Did you see how he freaked out in the water? Yeah, he was like a... Uh, he was like a fish out of water. Right? Uh, sure. You know, something was weird when I tried to clean his wounds, too. At the lodge. What do you mean? Well, all of his clothes were bloody, but I couldn't find where he was bit, or scratched, or whatever. He just kept moving around, like he didn't want me to see how badly he was hurt. Huh. Mm, rabies? He's not frothing in the mouth. <sighs> I think Abby would beg to differ. Point. Yeah, isn't aquaphobia a symptom of rabies? Hydrophobia, yeah. But I think it's more about a fear of drinking, not just getting wet. This was like... Like my cat in the bathtub. <laughs> yeah. Abby? Yeah? Can I ask you something? Of course. Like me. I don't know what's going on with you right now, but I like the old Nick better. I knew it. I knew it. You don't like me at all, do you? That's not what I said. Why won't you tell me the truth? I am telling you the truth. I only ever hung out with you because you seem so desperate. Poor, pathetic little Abby, ready to throw herself at the first guy that came along. Easy pickings. Oh, right off the bone. This isn't you. I mean, this, this isn't you. I... <gasps> Whoa! Whoa, Abby! Uh... Abby, everything okay? Holy shit. <sighs> okay, so if I were a counselor at an off-season camp, partying around a bonfire, and it started to rain, 
and there were monsters. I would go to the lodge. Only one left. stories again. I had no idea kids were getting freaked out about this stuff. We officially suck as counselors. You know what will happen. Come on! Do it! I, I've never done this before, Pop. Let's do it fast, that's it. Doesn't feel safe. Abby?
Ryan? I killed him. I mean, dead people don't usually jump out of windows and run into the forest. Abby, he was gonna hurt you. You were defending yourself. I, I don't... I don't know that for sure. I do. No. No. It was you or him. And, well... That definitely wasn't him. Man, this is so fucked. Whoa. Hey! Oh, shit. Where the fuck is Chris Hackett? Who's there? I need your help. Please. Who are you? My name is Laura Kearney. So? Don't let me in. It's not safe out here. Uh, yeah, there's a crazy woman with a gun killing people. I'm not killing people. Holy shit, you... Laura Kearney? You're Laura Kearney? Yes? You were supposed to be working, uh, helping out in the nurse's office, right? And you never showed up? Uh, you and the guy, what's his name? Max? Yes, Max. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Mr. Hackett said that you had changed your mind last minute. I, I think that we should, I think that we should listen to her inside. I don't know, I don't trust her. Dude, it's dangerous out there. Yeah, she's dangerous. Whatever, man, you're not in charge. Dude, fuck, Hello. Dylan. Hello. 